Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Danny's Tips. There's a lot of effects that people ask me about and they also happen to be very easy to do. So I put them all together in this video where you're going to learn 5 effects in less than 5 minutes. So if you're ready, let's get started. Some photos have this really nice clean look where the neutral colors are completely desaturated. To do this, simply reduce the vibrance to around 75. The neutral colors are now neutral, but your photo looks a bit desaturated. So to fix it, bump the saturation back up until it looks normal. The faded film look is a popular way to give your photo the nostalgic look and it can be done with the tone curves. To do this, go to the tone curve section and make sure that you're in point curve mode which you can switch to by clicking on this button here. Drag the bottom left point upwards which will lift the blacks. Drag the top right point downwards to drop the whites. And this will give your photo the faded look but it kind of makes it look flat. So to restore some of the contrast, add two points to the curve and create a very slight S curve like this. A lot of films have green shadows to emulate the look of high ISO films like the Fujifilm Superior 1600. In the same curves adjustment, click on the drop down menu and select the green channel. Lift the bottom left point and you will start to see the green tint. Add another point and this point will be used to cut off the effect so it only affects the blacks and shadows. And if the line isn't straight, you can add another point in the middle like this. Orange and is a very popular effect and it also happens to be very easy to replicate. Go to the camera calibration section and set the red hue to 50. Then set the blue hue to minus 100. We need to shift the blue hue a little bit more so to do that, go to the HSL section and move the blue hue to minus 50. You can also go back to the camera calibration section and adjust the saturation sliders if you like. If you want to control the balance between the orange and teal colors, you can do so by changing the white balance. Finally, a lot of people retouch skin in Lightroom. To do this, select the adjustment brush tool. Set the clarity to minus 100 and make sure everything else is set to zero. Paint over the skin and increase the clarity back up so that it looks realistic. You can also lower the dehaze setting for a flatter look. You can lower the saturation to reduce the redness and lower the sharpness to blur the skin. By the way, retouching skin works much better in Photoshop than it does in Lightroom. If you want to learn how to do it, check out my video on how to do frequency separation in Adobe Photoshop. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please remember to hit the like button. Also, if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Now, if you have anything that you want to do, maybe there's an effect that you see and you want to learn how to replicate it, you're welcome to send me a message. I'm on Instagram, Facebook. You can message me on YouTube or visit my website for the contact form. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.